everyone, welcome to Michelle's Life on repeat and today I am repeating a really bad headache and I'm also repeating a really bad hairdo. <laughs> I uh, got the curls cut just a little bit shorter and when you have curly hair they can go any which way you want. So this is me out of the shower, back in the bed for a nap, rocking it now. Here we go, headache and all. I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope you're doing better than well. I have a box of orchids that came from Brookside Orchids, one of my favorites. I ordered two more plants uh, because I just, you know, I love them. In fact, when I came in here into my orchid room, uh, there wasn't anywhere at my table, which is behind me, to actually do an unboxing some rearranging and some organization skills are needed in this room. Now hiring <laughs> an organizer. There's a shelf behind the camera, behind you, and it has plenty of room for more medium-sized things. I just haven't expanded the, the shelf up because you'd have to move two or three shelves up in order to make some of them fit. So, it is what it is. We'll find more room. And when I get rid of all of my um, I'm experimenting with growing summer vegetables in my indoor house and they're doing pretty good. I've got a lot of, of uh, radishes, carrots, green beans, but I hope again that you're doing well. I, I've i been back on the struggle bus. A couple of big migraines hit. I did hemiplegic migraine. That takes out, takes out my body for a while and, and not just my brain. And I also had some struggles. Let me get this noisy thing unwrapped because I know you came here for the orchids, but in my channel, I just talk about everyday life and my life revolves around chronic illness. So I have two orchids and um, I've been struggling with panic attacks again, which is never fun. And there's never a reason. Just when it shows up, it shows up. I so we're doing the whole medicine change and uh, with it comes sleepiness, very much sleepiness. So which one shall we open first? I'm going to go with this one. Thanks for joining me. I got a few new subscribers recently. I appreciate that. It always makes me happy when I wake up and I go, oh, okay, I got another subscriber. <laughs> I like it because... I'm a simple small town kind of girl, you know. I'm not getting like thousands of subscribers every day and I don't notice. I get one and I notice. <laughs> and I throw a mini party. All right. Brookside always tapes things up very, very well. This one, when I get her opened, Catalea Arantica. Orange Aid cross with self. I think I said that right. She is from a species Catalea from Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, and Costa Rica. That is where she is famously grown. So I'm thinking warm temperatures. Well, here I am in editing mode, and I forgot to turn on the camera. Um, when I was interrupted while I was filming. So here we are coming back into the orchid room, trying to track down Little Miss Antikia. Here we are. Catalea. Arantica. Orange Aid. Crossed with self. And I was, um, I had forgot to push the button. And so I filmed a bunch of nothing. So here she is. She's doing great. I've uh, potted her up in, um, oh, actually this is their, their pot. Um, and so I just checked on her roots and poked around in there and they were doing great. So I have watered her. She's been on my shelf because this video was made a couple of weeks ago and she is doing great. All right, let's see what orchid number two is. <laughs> yeah. 
you know what? Lately, my last three videos, I've been telling you I'm collecting a little more Miltoniopsis so I can do some more practicing and getting better and better at it. My kitchen window sink is filling up and this one looks to be in bloom. So let's delicately open her up, Michelle. I, I searched high and low through all of my orchid room and I must have killed my one Miltonia sunset that I had. I had one and it was beautiful. Yoshi gave it to me <sighs> and um, she's no longer anywhere in here and I don't know of any orchid thieves in the neighborhood. So there's a good chance with my memory it's because she died. So I've uh, started doing my Miltonias and Miltoniopsis with more perlite and bark and less of the sphagnum moss. And there we have her. Isn't she beautiful? That's an extra stick. Get her real close up. Those are about a 50 cent piece shape size. And this is well, I'm going to have to look up. They keep crossing a lot of the uh, odontoglossums, the, uh, a lot of the ones that start with O's along with the Miltoniopsis, and they add parts of the name. So this says O-I-P. I don't know how you would pronounce that, but she's a cross, obviously, between a Miltoniopsis and a onto something. Auto. Anyway, it's O-I-P. Inoculus Vivid, O-N-O-C-L-I-C-I-O-U-S, Vivid, Inoculus Vivid, and there she is, she's not very tall, she's probably just a hand width, yeah, she's a smaller one than the ones that I have downstairs, and she's just perfect and petite, and I love it. I ask that you would please lift me up in your hearts and your prayers that I can get through the struggle time of changing my medicines all up and fighting off the uh, anxiety. And I wish you wellness. I wish you peace. And until we talk again, cheers.